Hello, I'm Dan Stark with Appealing Products. This brief video will show you how to detect homemade explosives and their precursors using verifier detection tabs, product number VF-04. The verifier is designed to instantly detect both flammables and strong oxidizers in a liquid sample. Flammables and oxidizers are key components in many homemade explosives, including TATP. Some examples of flammables detected by the verifier are acetone, gasoline, and toluene. Some examples of oxidizers detected by the verifier are hydrogen peroxide and sodium persulfate solutions. The verifier can only be used to test a liquid sample. Gels or thick liquids can be tested for strong oxi oxidizers using the Gelox indicator, also available at www. Chemc.com. The verifier tabs are simple to use. However, it is important that the directions provided in this video, as well as the written instructions provided with the verifier detection tabs, are followed very closely. If you have any questions about the use of the verifier, you may call Appealing Products at 919-515-0741. Additional information is available on our website www.chemc.com. You may also email questions to customer support at appealingproducts.com. Before demonstrating the use of a verifier tab, I would like to go over the components of each verifier tab. There are three important parts on the verifier detector the flammable test end, the oxidizer test end, and the sample dropping area. The flammable detection test end is the end of the detector tab with an initial yellow coloration. If there are flammables, such as acetone, present in the sample, a red color will form on this end of the detector on the outside of the yellow stripe. The oxidizer detection test end is initially white. If there are strong oxidizers, such as hydrogen peroxide, present in the sample, a brown or black color will form on this end of the detector. During testing, droplets of the suspicious sample will be placed directly in the center of the detector, allowing enough time for the sample to be fully absorbed by the detector before adding additional droplets. Each verifier comes packaged in a small foil bag. To remove the verifier, carefully tear open the bag at the notches and remove the detector from the bag. We are now going to test the verifier using a sample which contains a flammable material, acetone. Slowly apply enough liquid drops to the center of the verifier tab to allow the liquid to flow to the ends of the detector. This should take approximately 10 seconds. Observe both ends of the verifier tab. Note the formation of a red color on the flammable test end. This indicates that there are flammables in the sample. We are now going to test the verifier using a sample which contains a strong oxidizer, hydrogen peroxide. Slowly apply enough liquid drops to the center of the verifier tab to allow the liquid to flow to the ends of the detector. This should take approximately 10 seconds. Observe both ends of the verifier tab. Note the formation of a brown or black color on the oxidizer test end. This indicates that there are strong oxidizers in the sample. We are now going to test the strip with clean water using the same procedure as described. I am slowly applying enough liquid drops to the center of the verifier tab to allow the liquid to flow to the ends of the detector. Please note that no color forms on either end of the detector. This concludes our training video. Again, if you have any questions on the use of any of our products, you may call Appealing Products at 919 515-0741 or email questions to customer support at appealingproducts.com.